Hello, Zaniacs. I am Lainey. I'm Marshall. Today we're going to talk about a book that we have both read called Horror Store. It is by Grady Hendrix. This is the story of a place called Orsk. Orsk is an Ikea knockoff. And they even talk about it in the book how it is an Ikea knockoff. If you get the PDF version, it has a whole bunch of diagrams <laughs> of the stuff that you could buy at Orsk. Mm -hmm. Yes, so. which is quite funny. And on top of that, there are two narrators. We both listen to this book. There are two narrators. One of them is a female. I can't remember her name off the top of my head, but the other one is a male. It's Bronson Pinchot, if you know who that is. If you watch Perfect Strangers, yes, it's Valkybar Takamas. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> and that was one of, the, one of the reasons why I was like, all right, this is cool. We're gonna listen to this. Mm -hmm. um, but what he does is basically any of the supplemental materials or introductions of the Orsk store itself he reads those off so he does the ads there's some like employee uh files and manuals that are interspersed in the chapters in this book and he does that which is hysterical it's really funny um especially because a lot of the things that he does for the ads aren't necessarily things that they really sell there but and they are here's why <laughs> you see this particular orsk is haunted Mm -hmm. horribly haunted. This isn't a huge spoiler, but the, it's haunted by the ghosts of an old prison. And the person who ran it was a bad, bad man. And he's visiting all of his horrors on everybody who stays there overnight. Joy. Other than that, this story is a lot more about its characters and right. how they are interacting with each other, with life, with Orsk, and, well... On life. Yeah. The the store itself, it like you said, it's haunted, it it does things uh to you perceptively that aren't necessarily there, but they are there and it's really hard to kind of explain what the like, what happens in this book, except to say that it's just like an haunted Ikea. <laughs> like, that's pretty much it. And the entire thing pretty much takes place in the haunted Ikea. Yeah. For those uh. of you who played Fear, I think this is very similar to the way that the paranormal things are going on in Fear. Right. In that it warps all of your perspec perspective. Um, although there are things that happen there that really will kill you. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, as far as the book goes, uh, I thought it was really, it was kind of a fun, a fun listen, a, a read, listen. Uh, I, there was stuff that happened at the end that kind of took me aback and I was like, wait, but all right. Uh, but I was okay with it. I think you had a different reaction to the ending than... You and I did have a little bit of a different reaction. It does quote unquote leave it open for a sequel but I don't need it. Yeah. I don't want it. I, after um, thinking about it, I agree with you there, yeah. It's not that this was a bad book and I don't want a sequel. It's that the ending was left in such a way that if you had a sequel, the sequel would be bad. Yeah, I could see that. Mm -hmm. For sure. For sure. So what did you give this book? I gave it a four star. Yeah, I did as well. It was a very, it was a solid read. Very, mm -hmm. very yeah, good. It was very entertaining. Yeah. So what's really funny is, you know, this is the second Grady Hem Hendrix book that we have read. Uh, but Marshall just finished another one, and we're going to be talking about that in our summer wing video. I haven't gotten to it yet. Yeah. Uh, I may not. <laughs> we'll see how things go. Uh, but, uh, you know, Grady Hendrix is, is actually um, beginning to be one of our more favorite authors. We're starting to be uh, able to read a lot more for of horror, him. Because, yeah. like, he takes things in a humorous direction, or he'll take something that you've already seen and put a more modern spin on it. Right. And yeah. I, I kind of like some of that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So thank you for watching our review of Horror Store. Uh, go ahead and make sure you are subscribed and comment below if you've read anything by Grady Hendrix. And until next time. Stay zany. Bye-bye.